नमस्ते टू ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम टू अवर चैनल कॉल्ड एज फार्मासी विद्या टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डील विद द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ आवर ब्लड चैप्टर दैट इज कॉल्ड एज ब्लड क्लॉटिंग इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी रिगार्डिंग द इंट्रोडक्शन देन डेफिनेशन एंड द मैकेनिज्म ऑफ ब्लड क्लॉटिंग सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द इंट्रोडक्शन इन केस ऑफ इंट्रोडक्शन वी आर गोइंग टू डील विद द प्लेटलेट्स प्लेटलेट्स आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज थ्रम्बोसाइड these are the small non nucleated cell the normal count is from 2 lakh to 3.5 lakh per cubic mm this count may vary with the age sex and different physiological conditions of an individual after that their function the main function is in case of hemostasis means what to stop the bleeding whenever there is an injury or damage to a blood vessel or tissue there is a bleeding to stop that bleeding these platelets or thrombocytes plays an important role in this video we are going to see that role also so after introduction the next part that is definition the definition of blood clot and clotting let's see first of all definition when a blood vessel damage or rupture within a few minutes blood loses its fluidity and is converted into a soft jelly like semi solid mass that mass is called as clot i will show it with the help of diagram from diagram you can see that there is a ruptured blood vessel and from this damaged part there is a loss of blood with its blood components but as per definition after few minutes what will happen there is a soft jelly like semi solid mass will form this is the thread like structure that is called as clot and it, this will stop the further blood loss the whole procedure of produce production or formation of this clot is called as clotting of blood or coagulation of blood coagulation is a similar term for the clotting the next part after the introduction that is mechanism the mechanism is a complicated procedure but we are going to study step by step in easy way this mechanism occurs in four stages so let's start with the first stage first stage is called as vasoconstriction the name itself explain that vaso vaso means blood vessel constriction means to reduce the size of the blood vessel so let's see it the platelets comes in contact with the damaged part and these platelets adhere or stick to that damaged part and releases a substance which is called as serotonin this serotonin causes the blood vessel constriction that is vasoconstriction which reduces the blood flow towards that damaged part so it prevent the further loss not only platelet produces the vasoconstrictor also the damaged blood vessel produces the different vasoconstrictor for the reduction of the blood flow so together all of them reduces the blood flow and prevent the further blood loss this is a stage 1 after stage 1 of mechanism the second stage the second stage is called as platelet plug formation let's see it this platelets form a clump or bunch and releases a substance which is called as adenosine diphosphate that is adp what occurs after formation of this adp this adp attract more platelet towards the damaged part they come towards that part and stick to damaged part by after sticking or added to that part they form a plug i will show it with the help of diagram now platelets stick to one another and form say plug and after producing adp they attract more platelet towards the damaged part so to prevent the further loss it occurs in the second stage now after second stage the third stage which is a main stage what happens exactly let's see the third stage is called as coagulation or clotting in this stage the injured tissue that by extrinsic pathway and the platelet by intrinsic pathway releases a substance called as thromboplastin this thromboplastin is a prothrombin activator this thromboplastin combines with the calcium which is already present in our blood plasma so in the with the help of calcium this thromboplastin converts prothrombin which is inactive to thrombin which is active form this prothrombin is a plasma protein which is present in our plasma which is inactive and converted into active form by thromboplastin after this activation of thromboplastin this convert fibrinogen which is inactive to the fibrin 
this fibrin. This fibrin is an active form fine thread structure. This fine thread structure comes together with one another and forms a net like structure. So in that net like structure our cells get entangled or catch. I will show it with the help of diagram. Yeah, as you can see this is a fibrin thread, thread like structure they forms a net. In that net, they capture the so there is no further loss of blood and blood components. In this way, the coagulation is formed. We have finished with the mechanism, but till after third stage, there is a remaining fourth stage, which is also important. So next stage come that is called as fourth stage. Let's see the fourth stage. That is called as fibrinolysis. What happens exactly? After clotting, process of healing is start and clot is removed. This breaking of clot means or called as fibrinolysis. Whenever lysis word comes, it means to break. Damaged endothelial cells secretes activator. This activator converts plasminogen, which is already present in the clot, into plasmin. So this plasmin starts to break the fibrin due to which clot is formed. That fibrin is converted into a waste product. And this waste product is removed by the phagocytosis by the macrophages. In this way, we have finished with the blood clotting mechanism also. So till we have covered the three part of blood clotting, but one part is remaining. I have to show that part that is called as blood clotting factors. I am going to show this blood clotting factor. Total number are 13. Out of them, we have discussed few. If you want a separate video on these factors also, just comment below and I will make a video separately on this topic also. So we have finished the blood clotting. Thank you for watching this video. If you find this video helpful for your knowledge, for your learning, then please like it and also share it with your friend circle. Also comment regarding this video. I request you if you are new to our channel to subscribe our channel and also press the bell icon button which is just near to subscribe button so you will get the further notification regarding our new videos. So till time thank you for watching have a nice day happy learning. Namaste.